So another thing, instead of being reacting, would be if you are acting. So that means you are not afraid of of anything. You have no special condition happening. You just go into a library or talk to people or sit somewhere by yourself and you work on this, this topic, death. By doing it this way around, you're not forced into any sort of belief system because you are set for investigation. You're not going to be taking someone's part anytime soon. You feel comfortable. You do it in the proper way. So like this, this acting, one could say that's about what you got to do anyhow with every minute in your life. You should always be sure, oh yeah, I'm doing this out of free will and not because I'm afraid, subliminally even. No, I'm doing this because I want to do this and I want to come to a conclusion that's not fear-driven. So, yeah, I did a lot of book and newspaper and magazine reviews where I always was stressing the fact that they put a lot of negative stuff in there. Even when it's a beautiful face, women then would go, oh, I will never look like this. Well, they have a negative input even there. So I was always going, yeah, it will make you ill because every negative input will make you bit by bit a little bit more kind of nervous, fatigue, um, um, burnt out, then depressed, then suicidal and then schizophrenic. That's this short letter towards illness. So psychologically, so yeah. This other thing, of course, is much more important with the media. They want to have us in this reactionary state so that we're always reacting. Like whenever there is something put in, to, in front of us, we go, yeah, I have something to say about that, or we react. But actually, we should just keep away from all the media and be acting. How do I want to plan my life? I got 120 years, so what do I fill these years with? <laughs> That's a different approach to life because they steal a lot of time. All the media and all these religions and even humans. But doing it the other way around, you have more control and also more outcome that suits you. How can the media know what topic is good for you? When, once you go experiencing the world yourself, oh, I'm interested in this and that, and in these other things, not. You're more likely going to do the things that actually are good for you. You can lead, let yourself be led by your intuition instead of the media. Yeah, that's uh, some little add-on I wanted to tell you about the fear-driven world we're living in. So, since not everything is so bad, as described in the media, you might want to check out at Chiarini, Aka, Dallas Goldbach and also Miles Matis, which doesn't have a YouTube. Yeah, so you see lots of stuff is just drills and it hasn't actually happened. It's a actor based media reality. It is real, but just in the media. But otherwise, the moon landings, the Kennedy shooting, 
the Apollo downs, the school shootings, the marathon bomb, the all these things haven't happened. If you don't believe me, you gotta do your own research. <laughs>